Hello viewers, welcome to number X. In this video, you will learn why the derivative of inverse secant has an absolute value. You will also learn how to find the derivative of secant inverse of X. So let us start. Let Y equals the secant inverse of X. This implies secant of Y equals X. Let us differentiate both sides with respect to Y. The derivative of secant of y equals secant of y times tangent of y right hand side equals dx over dy this implies dy over dx equals 1 over the product of secant of y and tangent of y now we will substitute tangent of y by a square root of secant squared y minus 1 we have almost done it since secant of y equals x, hence replace secant of y by x and we get dy over dx or derivative of inverse secant of x equals 1 over product of x and square root of x squared minus 1. The sign of the derivative will depend upon sign of x because the quantity under a square root is never negative. It means when x is positive, the derivative or slope is positive. And on other hand, when x is negative, the derivative or slope is negative. But wait, this is not 100% true. This is just half a story. Actually, the derivative of secant inverse of x contains absolute value of x not just x. When we analyze graph of secant inverse of x, the function is not defined for values of x between negative 1 and positive 1. The slope of the function is also not defined at x equals 1 and at x equals negative 1. Also, when x is greater than or equal to 1, the slope of this function is positive on the other hand, when x is less than or equal to negative 1, the slope is positive. In both cases, the slope is positive. So, to make the derivative always positive, we put absolute value sign. This is the reason why the derivative of inverse secant has an absolute value. Thanks for watching.